this book review is on Deadly Little Lessons, and it was a great conclusion, or I'm pretty sure it was a conclusion, to a series that I found extremely interesting. It's about people who touch things and get vibes from them, and she sculpts pottery and predicts the future, and she meets someone just like her. Well, she doesn't know she's like him at first, but, and they fall for each other, but he pushes her away through the whole series, and you get to this final book, and it's a huge turning point for every character in the book. And it's, it's a romance, so if you don't like romances, I do not recommend this, because the book ends with a lot of I love yous, and, but in this particular one, Deadly Little Lessons, the main character, who's named after a chameleon, uh, finds out a secret her parents were keeping from her her whole life. The fact that she was adopted. Um, and her mom is really her aunt because they adopted her, and her aunt's really her mother. And her aunt's, you know, suicidal and psychotic and had a hard life. And she did not, she went, she freaked out when she heard that happened. And she solves another mystery and brings a girl home to her family. And her and Ben have a very twisty turn in their relationship for the better, since they weren't in a relationship before. But very good book. I recommend the series. And a review is Romance and Suspense, a Winner Combination by Curtis Review. Another view is this writing is brilliant. Teensread2.com. Camellia's junior year of high school is finally over, but her troubles aren't. After she discovers a fan full truth about her family, she escapes to a summer arts program in Rhode Island, determined to put family and boyfriend dramas behind her. At the art school, she gets caught up in the case of Shasha Berkman, a local girl who's gone missing. Even though all signs suggest the teen ran away, Camellia senses otherwise. Eager to help the girl, she launches her own investigation. While reviewing the details online, she stumbles across a blog by someone named Neil Moach, a fellow touch power person. I don't know how to say the word. With Ben away, Camellia feels that she's found a kindred spirit in Neil. That sense of connection also makes Camellia realize how much she misses Ben, desperate being, despite being committed to Adam. But, but time is running out for Sasha, and Camellia will have to trust her powers more than ever. Will the lessons she has learned give her the strength to save Sasha before it's too late? And Sasha learns a lot of lessons in her time locked up, and you hear her part, and it's actually very creepy. And if you can't handle creepy, then this isn't the book for you.